A large rose tree stood near the entrance of the garden. The roses growing on it were white, but there were three gardeners at it, busily painting them red. Alice thought this a very curious thing, and she went nearer to watch them. Would you tell me, Alice said in a little timid voice, why you are painting those roses? Five and seven said nothing, but looked at two. Two began in a low voice. Why, the fact is, you see, miss, this here ought to have been a red rose tree, and we put a white one in by mistake, and if the Queen was to find it out, we should all have our heads cut off, you know. So, you see, miss, we're doing our best afore she comes to... At this moment, Five, who had been anxiously looking out across the garden, called out, The Queen! The Queen! The three gardeners instantly threw themselves flat upon their faces. There was a sound of many footsteps, and Alice looked round, eager to see the Queen. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was written in 1865 and has never been out of print. So many of its characters have become part of our folklore. The Mad Hatter, the March Hare, the White Rabbit, the Queen of Hearts, the Cheshire Cat. It's a mixture of fun and the absurd. Some of the characters could be frightening. The Queen, for example, whose answer to everything seems to be off with his head. But the reader is taken through the story by a confident young girl, Alice, who is quite ready to contradict and dismiss the bullying queen. After all, it's Alice's dream. Like many great stories, it spawned a sequel, Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There, that came out six years later.